Morning everybody. Now look what's turned up in the post. 14 of these little LED matrix kits using the Max 7219. And these are the ones that have the dual inline version of the chip, the full size version of the chip. Because recently I got a bit cross with these uh, modules which uh, butt up against each other and link together using these link pins, um, partly because they have the surface mount version of the chip with a surface mount resistor and a capacitor, which are a nuisance to solder, but also because when you uh, power these things up, bytes are orientated horizontally, and that just got me a bit cross because uh, I wanted them to be orientated vertically. Now, not only does this version of the module have the easier to solder components, it also has mounting holes in the board and it's cheaper. The um, little square ones were about two pounds something each. Well, these I found for one pound 39. And it means that you can build something like this. Now, this is part of a bicycle generator power display project that I'm working on. So the display is going to display watts and uh, someone sits on the bicycle, pedals away like crazy and uh, it shows how many watts they're generating. That's the idea. Now so far I've managed to get the code to read the potentiometer and if I turn it I can actually increment the number on the display. But then there was a problem. It gets up to 31 and suddenly jumps to minus 32 and starts counting all the way down again and I'm still turning the Hot clockwise gets down to minus well back to zero and then starts counting positively again so something was clearly wrong and I had to have a look into the Arduino code to try and work out what it was so here's the code now if you know anything about C and I'm relatively new to C and this is why I made the mistake you can probably spot immediately what I've done wrong I'm taking the analog read value and I'm multiplying by 99 and dividing by 1023. But those are integer constants, and I should have used float constants. So here it is, Arduino website, reference section, and it's staring me in the face just down there in variables. You've got integer constants and floating point constants. Now if you want a constant to be a floating point constant, you just specify it as a number 0 0.0. So like my 99 should have been 99.0. So I've modified that first line um, with 99.0. I don't need to bother to do the 1023 as 1023.0. Um, once the compiler sees that there's a floating point number in that calculation, it does the whole thing as a floating point. So I will compile that and send it to the uh, Arduino. So now when I turn the potentiometer, my number on the display goes from zero all the way up to 99, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. So that's fine. But inevitably that got me thinking, why 31? Why was it limited to that number? And 31 is the maximum number you can represent with five bits. And of course then it also had um, the negative, so we're using a sixth bit as a sign. But why is it only using these six bits? I mean, I could understand it if it um, went up to 127 and then rolled round to minus 128. But 31, that's really odd. Six bits are being used out of a possible eight, which is the basic um, eight bits of a, of a microcontroller's memory. So now what I've done is I've put the 99 back to an integer constant, but I've used the word function to convert it to a word data type. Now again, in Arduino reference, if we scroll down, we've got data types and then conversions. And the function word converts a data type to the word data type. And after compiling that version of the program, an interesting change has occurred. It now counts beyond 31, so I can go up to 40, 50, but when it gets up to 63, it rolls back round to zero. Well, 63, again, is using six bits. There's no 
negative sine bit now. It's using the six bits in, a, in an all positive form, but it still seems to be locked into these six bits. It can only count up to 63 and then it starts again. So I really don't understand why it seems to be locked into six bits. I did wonder whether it might be something to do with the fact that I'm using the function d to string f um, where I'm putting it on the display. So what I did there is I took my float variable percentage and I'm using the serial uh, print command to write it to the serial monitor. And you can see here that I'm getting 63s and zeros exactly the same as on the display. I'm just using noise on the uh, analog input to have it flicker between those two values, but it's doing the same thing. It's limiting to a maximum number of 63 and then rolling round to zero. And uh, through the serial monitor, it's doing exactly the same thing. Now, something's just occurred to me. I wonder, because the serial monitor is actually having to convert the numeric value into a string of ASCII characters, it's putting the decimal point in there as well. I wonder if serial print line uses d to string f as part of its functioning. Maybe it does. So maybe d to string f is involved. But I'm mystified. I don't understand why when I use an integer constant, it's locking me into six bits and not eight bits. And if someone can explain this, then that would be that would be really great. But anyway, that was really a bit of a distraction. As long as I use a floating point constant 99.0, then I get the full 0 to 99 range on my numbers, on my potentiometer. And so now I can move on and uh, build some more of these modules, make up some more of these LED matrix modules, uh, get a longer piece of wood at the top there, rack up more of these modules and start displaying longer numbers. And I also want to include the word watts uh, to come onto the display as well.